we're going for it. Bon Jower and Bienvenue uh, to our house here in Vlora. The prevailing theme to most of the places we've stayed here on this trip has been shoebox. As you can see, this place is not a shoebox. Maybe a nice big hat box. Are hat boxes bigger than shoeboxes? I have no idea. I've never bought a hat. As you walk in, you can see that we have a nice big bed with fancy sheets. Big couch to stare at that view right there. You can't see the ocean. This has been really cool. The Albanian ingenuity to fit a whole kitchen into a very small space. Opposite the kitchen, we have the dining room slash work area slash table. There's a nice size TV and an AC unit. It's got lovely art on the wall. I imagine an apple. In case you wake up and forget where you are, you are in Anna Guest House. It is nautical themed. Continuing on the nautical theme, we have a big shell as well as some pine cones. Whenever you see pine cones, I always think of the ocean. A lot of storage space. Boom, boom, boom. And now the throne room. This is pretty sweet. Did we head a bidet in any other place? I think it's our first bidet. All right. Well, leave us. <laughs> We've got a washing machine that now that I'm looking in profile is itty bitty. A fully enclosed shower and you can sit on the toilet and look at your neighbor. This place is on the 10th floor. Jen was keeping that a fun little secret from me before we got here. And then when we got here, the homeowner said that you have to walk all the way up to get the keys. So it was a double surprise, but it's all totally worth it for this part of the house, the balcony. There's even a place to sit and just stare at the ocean. We're gonna walk down to the beach and then grab some dinner and bring it back home so we can watch the season finale of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. We're so excited. It's gonna be a good night. It's a beautiful day here in Vlora. We've got the mountains behind us and the sea in front of us. And we could not have asked for better weather today. We're so excited to get out and explore the city. And to wear sunscreen. Yes, it's definitely a sunscreen day. I've already got mine on. Another reason we're not having children is that they would be translucent. We're gonna head to the old town part of town. There's some museums that we wanna see. Hopefully they're open. There's a cool old mosque and a third thing. We're just gonna chill here on our balcony and enjoy this beautiful weather before we head out for the day. And not have babies. Walking down this very long boulevard in the center of Laura. No idea what it's called. You'll know it because it's really the main road and we just need to take this all the way down for about 25 minutes and that'll take us right into the old town. 10 more minutes that way. 10 more minutes that way? Sweet. Kind of like in Korcha where there's a walkway in the center of the road. Behind me is the Marathi Mosque. It was built in the 15th century and it's still here. It's one of the few mosques that survived the communism times. You know you're in Albania when you just actively walk through construction sites to get where you're going <laughs> and everybody else is doing it too. Right behind me is the Independence Monument with Ismail Kamali right in the center. In 1912, Ismail Kamali declared the Albanian National Awakening, which was Albania's independence during the Balkan War. But then in 1914, Italy came and occupied Albania, so it didn't last too long, but this is a very important monument for the country. Flora was Albania's first capital city.
just noticed these birds and they've got shit on their feet. What are you? I've never seen a bird like that. They've got feathers on their feet. I love that about travel. See something new every day. Why are these birds here? Why is there a German flag? Why are there feathers on the bird's feet? We'll what? never know. No. Nor do we really need to, but it is a mystery. Sit on these blocks, hang out with this puppy. Do you like bubble water? You're such a doof. I love you. Very doopy. Like you doopy poopy. Well, we found the ethnographic museum, but it's closed. I don't think we're ever going to go to an ethnographic museum in this country. Literally every single time we've tried, they've been closed. But we did make a puppy friend. He ate napkins. <laughs> he did. There's another museum right in this area that we're going to try to check out. It is a history museum, it I think. It is the Museo Historic. No! I didn't want to learn anything anyway. <laughs> That's what we were afraid of. It is Monday. There are a couple other things to do in this general area. The Bektashi Temple, I thought was very nearby, but it turns out it is nearby, just up a steep hill. So I think it'd be worth going to, even though it's super hot out and it's really sunny. Climbing a mountain in the noonday sun seems like a really bad idea. The Bektashi Temple is about a 15, 20 minute walk away. It is uphill, but Steve is such a good sport. We're going to get sunburned. We are, but we always do. I don't want to get sunburned. And we're going for it. This seems to be a soldier's memorial. You can see most people died around the 1940s during the Second World War. You're not gonna believe this. The temple is closed. Oh my goodness. gonna go somewhere to sit and get a cold drink because apparently on Mondays everything is closed or maybe it's because it's April. April. Like literally. Okay, I think we just found the stairs that would lead you up to where that graveyard was. We stopped to get some food and a salad, some meatballs, and then this dude at a table just bought us beers. It never fails at Albanian. People are so incredibly friendly. The guy bought us like four beers. Seven o'clock somewhere. Here. Yeah, specifically. Now we are heading to the another museum. It'll be closed. It'll probably be closed, but we're gonna try to go anyway. We're walking toward the water right now, trying to find a museum. But we just saw this pile of dirt. That someone built steps into. We're definitely going up. We found the last museum we were looking for. It's right there, and it's closed. Can you believe it? Oh, for four. But what we were lacking in museums, we did make up for in a giant pile of dirt. Every city has museums. What city has a giant pile of dirt with steps in it? And these views. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We are on our way to Barat this morn. Our host here at this Airbnb helped us get the bus lined up. It was very kind of her. We asked her, hey, do you know anything about getting the bus to Barat? She's like, I got it sorted for you, homies. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to as many of the museums or things as you saw. Or any of them. We're gonna go grab some lunch because we've got about two hours. Off we go. Let's do this. Oh, hey. Local bus. If it's a very hot day when you're here, you can take the public bus on the main road. It'll take you straight down to the old town. So 
Hot tip, we are meeting the bus at a, a local bank that's nearby here. Hopefully figure this bus out. We have the license plate number for the van <laughs> and we have a time and we have a place where it picks up. So hopefully it'll all work out. That's more information than we usually have. Also, we are right across the street from the History Museum. It's open today. So if you arrive there on a Monday and it's not open, you can just say, hey, well, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> had a really nice lunch and we've got another hour to kill. I think I'm gonna go to the museum while Silo hangs with our stuff. He doesn't really want to go, um, but I think I'd like to check it out since it's open today. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna drink coffee. I met the historian who works there. Her name is Bella. She is extremely knowledgeable, extremely nice person. She walked around the museum with me the whole time, um, answering all my questions and showing me her favorite pieces. So I think if you're able to chat to her or to someone else working there, it's definitely worthwhile because they have so much more knowledge than just reading the signs. The signs are in English and for 100 luck, if you like history and you've got half an hour and you're in the old town, I think it's worthwhile to check it out. They've got some very old pieces there that are more than 5,000 years old. I found out that the museums are just closed on Mondays. So if you're here on a Monday, like we were, <laughs> unlucky, but if you are here on another day, they should be open. We got the bus. It was no problem at all. It's just near this gas station, the Ada station, which is really nearby the old town. So if you were trying to take buses to Tirana, to Barat, to other places, this seems to be where they pick a lot of people up. on the beach together. My hair is all crazy though. He, he straightened me out. All the fuzz on top. Oh god, never mind, hold this.